Central strike is trying to hit the wide through the middle, up and down the spots in a straight line, hit the chalk, up and down the spots, and back. Now, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Very happy with that. That's fantastic. Obviously, I'm a top professional. That's the way it goes. Let's hit it even harder. Let's see if we can start to generate a bit of inaccuracy in my cue action. Whack it as hard as I can, up and down the spots, and there you go. Look. Off miles, I put a bit of right hand side on. Okay, bit of right hand side. I'll try and correct that. And there it goes off to the left. They're roughly the same shot for me. It is much, much harder than you think. So hit the cue ball centrally to get it coming back when you use a bit of force. So therein lies the problem. But let's say you've sort of like practiced for a, a week on end, doing half an hour before every practice session, up and down the spots, and you're fairly happy that you can more or less put it up and down in a straight line. Well, let's introduce a ball that you need to pot. That should be quite easy after doing that. Just hit the white ball in the middle. Should go in. Absolutely the smack. Two number twos. Absolutely the smack. Absolutely in the snap. Two number twos. Absolutely in the snap. Absolutely. Absolutely miles out. Number one. Dead straight pot. Why can't you pot that every time? And that's what every player is trying to look for. Two this week, twos. hopefully, I'm going to try and help you with that pursuit. And there we go. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about the practice routine of hitting the cue ball up and down the spots to make sure you're not putting any side spin on the white ball. So what happens if you can't do that? If all of a sudden, as the white ball hits the top cushion, it comes back either right side or left hand side, proves you're not hitting the ball in the centre. What's the reason? Well, possibly you're not starting off in the centre. You're not aiming at the centre of the white ball in the first place. And that's not as easy as it looks because sometimes on the snooker table with the la 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 the lighting, there's lots of shadows in the But let's show you a foolproof way of finding the centre of the white ball. I've got a plumb bob, a pencil, I've got a plumb bob. Pop mouth plumb bob. Pop mouth bob. Got a plumb bob. Pop mouth bob. Plumb bob. Plumb bob. Plumb bob. Pencil. 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 Plumb bob. Pencil, plumb up, pencil, plumb up, pencil, plumb up, pencil, plumb up, pencil. I'm going to hang the plumb up from the lights that's directly down the bulk end of the table. Drop the plumb up down and find the point on the table that's directly below the light bulb. We mark it with a pencil. So, 
So, all of a sudden, we have a cross. Plum bob, pencil, 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 pencil, plum bob, pencil. I'm going to hang the plum bob from the lights that's directly down the bulk end of the table, drop the plum bob down and find the point on the table that's directly below the light bulb. We mark it with a pencil. So, with a pen, so, so all of a sudden we have a cross on the table. We now put the cue ball on the cross, white ball directly below the light bulb. Wherever you are around the table, that reflection of that light the dead centre of the cue ball. So you can use this to your advantage. Scatter balls around the table, line up at any shot you like. All of a sudden, as you get down, that reflection of that light bulb is directly in the middle. That is the middle. Whether you're up the top there or down the bottom, you keep... Whether you're up the top there or down the bottom, you keep on that line, that is the middle. So it's 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 the middle.
and there you and there you go and there you and there you go and there and 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 and there you go 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 not on the line they may be aiming at the middle of the white ball, but they're not on the line of the pot, so the cue has to be there. And worse, you can spot if somebody's coming back off the line when they're doing their backwards and forwards movements, preparatory. And when they're doing their backwards and forwards movements, 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 So you can train a player to bring the cue back on the line. Also, when they come to play the shot and go through the whiteboard, you can also check whether the cue is staying on that line as well. So this is very important. So let's see if I can play the shot and keep that cue on the line. So, so that's a pretty foolproof so, way to that's find a pretty full so, so, way to that's find a pretty way to so, 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 but what if a player doesn't get a down shot, 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 This week, this week we've been looking at the problems a snooker player faces. It's all about that straight line. A straight pot is on the key Essentially, we have a board with a step in it down. It's got a straight line. Obviously, when you stand behind, if you stand directly in line with your eyes, the line is one complete straight line. If you stand off to one side, the line is disjointed. So the pupil, you get the pupil to get down into position. When he's happy, you remove the paper, and the pupil can see whether he looks at the line and it looks straight. If he's off to one side, the line looks disjointed. The other side, the line looks disjointed the other way. So the pupil can self-correct, and the coach can actually make a point of exactly where that Some stage, 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 some stage
is not through the shot. So if you can actually play the shot successfully without bending this cue as you play the shot, then you effectively make the cue do the work. The cue will train you. It's quite amazing, quite effective as well. I hope that's given you an insight into the game of snooker and the problems that snooker players face. And if you're prepared to work hard and practice on some of the things I've talked about, perhaps one day I'll see you at the Crucible. A fraction of the cost of buying a ready made <laughs> medium crew glass paper.
It's very important to lay slabs on it's very important to lay slabs on a sand base. This will minimize any chance of movement. Lay slabs on a sand base. This will minimize the
This will make leveling up easier. Now it's time to lay your first slab. 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 It's time to lay your face asleep. 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 Always keep your back straight and bend at the knees when lifting heavy objects. Lay the slab gently so as not to disturb the bed. not to disturb the bed. Tamp down the slab. In this instance, we've used the shaft of a lump hammer. Note the fall of the slab from left to right. If you're laying a patio, the fall should always be away from the house. Here, we've achieved an average fall being about 15 millimeters over 600 millimeters. Lay the spirit level onto the slab and tamp down the side you wish the fall to run until the bubble sits about halfway on the line instead of falling in between the lines. This must be consistent with all the slabs to achieve the same fall. 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 the same fall. Achieve 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 the same fall.
Check that the slab is stable on its bed. If there's any movement on its diagonals, tamp more of the mix under the relevant corner or corners. The relevant corner under the the relevant corner or corners there the relevant corner or corners the relevant corner or corners the relevant corner or corners of 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 the relevant corner or corners or corners of the relevant corner 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 Corners, then recheck. Now that you've a starting point, continue to lay the slabs from your first slab. As you lay your other slabs, ensure the edges butt up to each other to maintain squareness. However, it must be pointed out that this is only the case when the slabs being used have a straight edge. As you lay your other slabs and should lay your other slabs and sure the edges butt up to each other to maintain squareness. However, it must be pointed out that this is only the case when the slabs them and the slabs the slabs Slabs being used have a straight edge. Schneider, <laughs> <laughs> 
As you lay your other slabs, spell several your other several other slabs, ensure the edges butter to each other to maintain square slabs and slabs being slabs and slabs being slabs and slabs being slabs other slabs and slabs being slabs and slabs being slabs and slabs being slabs other slabs other slabs 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 other slabs other slabs, 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 other slabs, 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 other, 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 slabs, slabs, being you slabs, and slabs, being slabs, and slabs, being slabs, slabs, slabs. Slabs, slabs, other slabs, 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 be slabs, slabs, be slabs, slabs, be slabs, slabs, be slabs, being slabs, and slabs being slabs, being slabs, being slabs, being slabs, being slabs, being slabs, being other slabs, slabs, being slabs, and slabs, being slabs, and slabs, being slabs, 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 being 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 other slabs, slabs, and slabs, 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 being slabs, slabs, being slabs, being used, have a straight edge. Other slabs, slabs, and slabs being used. Other slabs, other slabs, other slabs, other slabs, slabs being used, have a straight edge. Some slabs have a riven, uneven face and need a gap of some 10 to 15 millimeters between each other when laid. If you decide to use these, after laying them, brush the same dry mix into the joints. This will harden from the moisture in the sand. Slabs and slabs, slabs, slabs being other other slabs, slabs be slabs, 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 slabs be slabs, 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 other slabs, slabs being 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 slabs, and slabs being slabs, slabs being slabs, slabs being slabs, slabs being slabs, slabs other slabs, slabs be slabs, slabs being slabs, 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 other slabs, the slabs being used have a straight edge. Slabs have a riven, uneven face. Vera and Vera have a riven, uneven face and need a gap of some 10 to 15 millimeters between each other when laid. If you decide to use these, after laying them, brush the same dry mix into the joints.
Once your first row of slabs are down, start the second row. I'm Sarah Davies. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies, the founder of Crafters Companion. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies, the founder of Crafters Companion and the creator of the Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies, the founder of Crafters Companion and the creator of the Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. 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 Hi, I'm Sarah Davies. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies. The ultimate crafters companion tool. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies. The ultimate crafters companion tool. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies. The ultimate crafters companion tool. The ultimate crafters companion tool i'm really thrilled to be bringing you this dvd which is all about creating some spectacular cards across the dvd i'm going to teach you how to make lots of different cards from some quick and easy designs right through to some more stunning and really unusual centerpieces I'm going to demonstrate the different card making techniques using a plain white card so that you can clearly see how everything goes together. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies, the founder of Crafters Companion and the creator of the Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. I'm really thrilled to be bringing you this DVD, the Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. The Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. The Ultimate Crafters Companion tool. I'm really thrilled to be bringing you this DVD, which is all about creating some spectacular cards. Across the DVD, I'm going to teach you how to make lots of different cards from some quick and easy designs right through to some more stunning and really unusual centerpieces. I'm going to demonstrate the different card making techniques using a plain white card. White card. Plain white card. Plain white card. Plain white card. So that you can clearly see how everything goes together. Of course, you can use your own imagination to create your own personal to create your own personalized beautiful card. To create your own your own imagination to 
This is not your own imagination. This is not your own, your own imagination to create your own pedo. No, this is not your own, your own imagination. This is not your own imagination to create your own personalized beautiful cards that will be great to suit any special occasion. If you'd like to follow step-by-step -step instructions, you can take this video to the where you'll find a full bag of PDF give you all the instructions you need for every one of the objects. So whether you're a beginner or a more expert, I'm sure you will get it. 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 And what we're going to do, oh my.